When I was 11 years old, I met my best friend in school. We were both loners, both had very strict parents. We were both in the same class. I remember I was just sitting on my own at my table doing some work. And this young scrawny kid just comes up to me and he's, he says, can I sit next to you? And I say, sure. And he sits and he just keeps asking me questions. And at first it's annoying. Then I find it interesting. And then we became friends. And for the next three years, we just are as close as two friends ever could be. We do everything together. We study together. We play together. We would always go to each other's houses. And since we were both outcasts and loners, we were often all that the other ever had. And for three years, he was an extremely happy and cheerful and didn't care about very much. And then it all changed in our final year of high school. See, we have these board exams that are extremely important and where there's always like a lot of buildup and a lot of pressure around. And he was having trouble handling that pressure. For three months, we would sit, we would meet in each other's houses every day and we would study and just study and study and study. And his parents were never too, they were always pretty harsh on him. They were never too kind to him. They always expected more from him. They always wanted him to study harder and... He wasn't someone to whom academics came to very well, but he tried really hard anyways. And every day we would come home and we never slept before 1 or 2 a.m. We always just kept studying for that long. We didn't eat very much, often what we ate wasn't healthy, and we just kept working maths and economics and commerce and accounting and English and whatever. We just kept working throughout the night every night and I could see the strain on his face he was turning into someone I didn't know he was <clears throat> he wasn't doing too good he he always looked tired every day you could see the strain on his face he wasn't eating very well he was losing weight he was becoming a lot paler that he was no more cheerful he was just stressed and worried and just kept working and we just kept working and we just kept working on the day of our first board exam we both went in and along with a bunch of our classmates we did our exam we came out and I asked him how he did and he just started crying he just broke down and he He said he knew he hadn't done very well. He said he just kept babbling and he, he was breaking down. And I kept trying to comfort him. I told him, it's okay, don't worry about it. It's, it's not the end. It's, there's still more. You still have a future. There's, your parents won't get too angry. They'll understand. They're, he was shaking. And I couldn't do much to comfort him. But because we had an exam the next day and we had to prep, prepare for that. We couldn't spend too much time on this and... So we agreed we'd, that we'd go back and freshen up in our own houses and I'd meet him in my house again at 7, at 7 p.m. So I'd go back home, I'd tell my parents how it's going, how my exam went, it went all right. I go, I change, I then wait for him. I start studying and I receive a call. He'd killed himself. He'd went home, went upstairs to his room, and killed himself with a gun he found from his parents. It didn't. And even today, I wonder how he's doing. And I wonder what kind of system it was that let him feel so anxious and so sad and forced him to study so hard something that didn't matter too much anyways.